So guys, it seems that Kate Middleton is reacting and responding allegedly to this whole stuff when it comes to Meghan Markle and how she feels about their rift and what she said in that interview. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you haven't subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, my Patreon, my merch, and let's get straight into this video. Now, what I find to be interesting through this is these are through people who may know her, been in touch with her, and people who are experts in this field. And that in itself always comes with a pinch of salt, guys. But Kate Middleton has found it allegedly mortifying that allegations she made Meghan Markle cry during a row over bridesmaids dresses has re-emerged during an interview two years ago after first being reported in 2018. But was it reported? Katie Nichol noted how you never hear about the Duchess falling out with anyone because she's very careful with how she treats others. Previously, it was believed it was Meghan who had made Kate cry during a row over bridesmaid dresses, but during the Bombshell podcast, Meghan said it was the opposite. Speaking to OK Magazine, Kate Nichol explained that Kate has never wanted any suggestion of a rift with Meghan to come out in the press. So for this story to be circulating is actually very hard. Kate added that there are different versions of the story and claimed that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle know Kate is not in a position to respond. From what I hear, there are different versions of the bridesmaid story, not just the one Meghan discussed. Kate felt it was all sorted, so to have it brought up again was mortifying. Kate is not in a position to respond, and Meghan and Harry full well know that. The royal expert went on to claim that Kate Middleton hasn't been left saddened, disappointed, and hurt. Sorry, she has been left saddened, disappointed, and hurt in the wake of Meghan and Prince Harry's tele interview with Oprah interview. With, with, with Oprah, sorry. She added it had been a very hard few days for the Duchess, who stepped up, look at you just go making it about herself. This has been a very hard few days for Kate, but she turned up and committed to her work and duty last week. <clears throat> she continued that Prince William and Kate feel down after they were hugely welcoming to Meghan and Harry. And obviously they still love Harry and Meghan, but this interview has ruffled a lot of feathers. Katie's comments come days after an impassioned Prince William publicly hit back against Harry and Meghan's racism claims, insisting we're very much not a racist family. Um, one tweet which I found interesting, somebody said is that, yeah, you know, maybe they're not racist family and this is what William is saying to defend himself, but he's very passionate about defending himself so quickly, but throughout the time of Meghan Markle literally being hit by all the papers, he was extremely quiet. And I find that to be interesting, that you suddenly now have the energy to defend everything and defend your title and your name and everything, but when it comes to your brother or your brother's wife going through XYZ, you are quiet. And so was Kate. Both of you are quiet. But now suddenly you now want to defend yourself to the cameras. So I find that to be interesting, number one. Number two, we're out having Prince William and Prince, ha and, and not in Prince. We have um, William and Charles out here with every single black person that they can find, which is something that we've never seen them do prior to these, new, um, you know, kind of accusations. So that in itself could cause some kind of conversation, some kind of, you know, suspicious kind of behavior. But at the same time, apparently Kate is not, not in a position to respond. There are different versions of the events that took place. That's what she is saying. And she also has said, um, allegedly through these royal experts, these royal experts, I would never understand. You've lived your life to be an expert of the monarchy, which is just a waste. But anyways, um, and apparently she's shocked and mortified by that. This whole stuff has been re-brought up in from 2018 to 2020. So make of that what you will, guys. Make of that what you will. Um, she was obviously recently seen at Vigil and she got a lot of critique for that because it was like a photo op and that's what a lot of people were saying. We damn well know if Meghan Markle was seen at this damn Vigil um, handing out or putting candles and she wasn't seen with no mask and someone took a picture of her, the headlines would be Meghan Markle disobeying COVID laws, breaking COVID um, laws, not wearing a mask, immature, super spreader, Meghan Markle. This is what they'll be calling her and we know they will. But, Meg but Kate avoided all of that. Now, some people assume that I hate Kate Middleton. I do. No, I'm joking. Uh, I don't hate anybody. But at the same time, when we have one who's been bullied and one who hasn't said anything about it and knew the real story, but prevented from getting it out there, you have become an enabler when it comes to this entire situation. Uh, that is just the truth. So of course, one will hold more weight for critique. It doesn't mean that I hate Kate Middleton. I evidently don't. But at the same time, that is just a natural discourse of this conversation. People like to put this narrative of hatred, 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 and it really isn't that. People just are being, I'm just, people are just being held accountable for their previous actions or whatever they did here and there. And a lot of viewers may not, not a lot of viewers, but a few people here there may not even like it. But at the same time, this is the reality of the situation. If Kate was the victim and Megan was the perpetrator, I would be defending Kate. It's just simple as that, guys. It really is. Um, it's honestly simple as that. 
Let me know your thoughts out, guys. Subscribe to the channel, click that button, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.